The Smart Router Kit, or SRK, is one of the most versatile, easy tools. The SRK has a number of components and features. The Traveler, the Slide Arm, the Base, and the Control Knob. The Traveler connects the SRK to the guide rail. There are two grooves at the bottom of the Traveler that fit over the guide ridge. To the side of the grooves are two tiny slots. There are set screws associated with these slots. You can tighten the set screws with a hex wrench to keep the grooves fitted to the ridge even when the groove is worn from use. Either groove can be placed over the ridge on top of the guide rail. Using this groove allows the router bit to be as close as possible to the rail and gives you almost 8 inches of movement perpendicular to the rail. Using the other groove gives you almost 2 additional inches of distance from the rail. The slide arm attaches to the traveler with the control knob and two washers. There is a large indention in the top of the traveler for the slide arm. To either side of this indention are tiny slots and associated set screws, which are used to keep the fit between the slide arm and the traveler snug, but loose enough to allow the smooth movement of the slide arm when the control knob is loosened slightly. The control knob is held when the traveler is moved parallel to the rail and loosened to allow the slide arm to move perpendicularly to the guide rail. The base attaches to the end of the slide arm with a pair of knobs. The base can be moved vertically to allow the base to sit flat on workpieces of different thicknesses. The second set of holes in the base can be used for the knobs to give additional height. Your router attaches to the base. The router can be moved perfectly parallel and perpendicularly to the rail. The SRK limit stops are a most valuable addition to the SRK. The full set of stops includes five items. Two perpendicular stops to limit movement perpendicular to the rail. Two parallel stops to limit movement parallel to the rail. And one limit stop slash clamp to hold the workpiece in a fixed location. Perpendicular stops are used whenever you want to stop the motion of the SRK perpendicular to the rail at a particular location or between two locations. The stop consists of a block, a knob with a stud, and a washer. There is a raised portion down the center of the top of the block. This raised portion fits into the slot of the slide arm. The block has a threaded insert that is centered on the width of the raised portion, but placed off-center along its length to keep the knob further away from the upturned end of the slide arm. When placing the stop, the block is placed in the slide arm slot with the long side away from the traveler. The washer is placed over the stud and the stud is screwed into the threaded insert. Move the slide arm to the desired stop or location, slide the stop up to the traveler, and lock it down by tightening the knob. A single perpendicular stop is used where you want to cut up to a certain distance from the rail, like with a rabbit. Both perpendicular stops are used when you want the cut to stay between two distances from the rail, like with a dado.
The parallel stops can be used whenever you want to stop the motion parallel to the rail at a particular spot or between two spots. The parallel stop is placed on the guide ridge of the rail. It consists of a block, a bolt, a washer, a threaded knob, a hex cap screw, and a knurled knob. The block has a slot in the bottom that fits over the rail's guide ridge. The bolt, washer, and threaded knob are attached such that tightening the knob squeezes the side of the block tight against the guide ridge. The hex cap screw is screwed into the knurled knob and then screwed into one end of the block. This acts as a micro adjustment with one full turn of the screw being five hundredths of an inch. The knurled knob locks the micro adjustment in place once it is set. The micro adjustment screw also allows for dust relief when placed between the stop and the traveler. Therefore, it is always best to place the stop with the screw facing the traveler. Place the traveler in the desired stopped location. Slide the stop to the traveler and lock it down with the knob. A single parallel stop is used when you want the cut to move parallel to the rail to a certain spot, like with a stopped dado. Both parallel stops are used when you plunge the router at one spot and then move it parallel to the rail to another spot, like with a slot. The SRK stop clamp is used to clamp the rail so that the parallel stop or stops are always exactly the same distance from the clamped edge of the workpiece. The stop clamp is a normal easy clamp with a knurled knob added to the main threaded rod. It slides into one of the two self-aligning slots in the bottom of the guide rail. With the clamp in the desired location, the knurled knob locks the clamp to the rail and acts as a stop that the workpiece is placed against to register the workpiece to the rail. With the workpiece in place, the clamp knob is tightened to firmly hold it to the rail. The rail can be placed repeatedly on workpieces with a parallel stop on the rail always the same distance from the registered edge. A single stop clamp is used along with a normal easy clamp to lock the rail in place parallel to the desired cut. The stop clamp can be used anytime but should always be used when using parallel stops so that the setup can be repeated on more than one workpiece. It is also very useful on the PBB to provide a fixed clamp for registering workpieces in relation to the rail. The next video in this series will discuss some of the things that you can do with the SRK.